So after a lot of thought, I have now come up with my ranking of the Halloween series, including Halloween Ends. Let's get started right now. All right, so guys, it took an incredible amount of thought behind this to determine what exactly this, this ranking list should be, included, with Halloween ends included. And the Halloween ends itself kind of changed my mindset on how I view the Halloweens and what's actually important in ranking these movies. And honestly, the most important ranking of this series for me is how close it sticks to the original because really that's every series the original sets a blueprint for what it is unless the wrinkle a wrinkle that the sequel brings in is adds to it in a way that makes sense and adds to it in the way that you could understand it kind of happening um so i'm gonna get right into it number 13 h2 the undisputed heavyweight champion, in my view, of the worst horror movie, or the worst Halloween movie ever made, is still H2. Um, dull for me, um, extra, extra bloody for for no reason that doesn't fit Michael Myers' mo in my in my um, perspective. I'm all for blood. I'm all for gore. I'm a, I'm a horror fan to you know to, at my core. So I have no problem with that. It's just with Michael Myers as the main as the slasher. There's a certain tone and a certain feel to his movies that was lacking here and it was confusing. So there's any talked, I think. And yeah, he talked in that one. It just it didn't work for me. Worst one of, of, of the series for me, of the franchise for me. Pretty easy thought there. Now, number 12. I'm gonna have to go with Halloween ends. Listen, I understand from a perspective of as of, of, as time passes this character the character of michael myers has to age has to move forward has to progress i'm okay with that 100 percent what i'm not okay with is how he was completely deconstructed and made to look extremely weak, regardless of the age, when you have someone like Laurie Strode, relatively the same age, give or take, and is, is has, a, has a strength to her that he doesn't. Now, we heard in Halloween Kills that the st more he kills, the stronger he gets. I understand all that. By the time he started actually coming out of his, out of his hole and killing people, he was strong. I don't care what anybody says. He would, he'd been he'd been killing people, and he had his mask. Like there's no, I don't want to hear any of that stuff. I heard one person say that he uh, we shouldn't be mad about the fact that he wasn't in very long because he wasn't long in very long in the original Halloween. That's the original Halloween. The way to set up a great slasher is the very first movie you just give them a, you give a little bit you give them enough for the fans that want more look at pinhead for 13 minutes i think it was in, in the hellraiser one and as the movies go on he gets more screen time the end whether it's the real end whether it's the whatever it's the end we have as far as we're concerned this is this is the the end of Halloween until we actually see concrete evidence that someone's making another one. This is the end and that was a horrendous end to an iconic character that to me is the reason why we're all watching that series in the first place. There's a reason why people went crazy after after Halloween 3 because there was no Michael Myers. No disrespect to, Lord, to, to Jamie Lee Curtis. Laurie Strode is not the reason we're watching. So I understand she might think that she's up here. She's just beneath Michael when it comes to fan favorite and fan the, the reason why we all pay our hard-earned money to watch these films. I've never watched a movie for, for Laurie Strode, never once, and I don't, and I never will. So, to me, even though the slasher movie within Halloween Ends wasn't bad, what they did to Michael was inexcusable, especially considering that we've seen an end already, an end in this series that was done much better. And I'll get into that. 
Coming in at number 11, Halloween Resurrection. I talked about it before. Michael Myers, Buster Rhymes, Buster Rhymes using karate on Michael Myers. Come on. Come on. Um, and the fact that I thought the ending of H2O would have been a fitting end. I get they, I mean, they, they reached hard to, 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 to make sense of how he survived. And I, and I mean, once you look at it, it does make sense, but it's a, it's a heck of a reach. Um, I did like the fact that Laurie Strode was killed in that one. I do like that. And I get, and I appreciate the fact that they're going back to the house, but there was just too much of a joke made of Michael Myers in this one for me to rank it any higher. And there's movies, I mean, every other movie from from this point forward is, is, is much better than um, than this one. So that's my number, uh, my number 11. Coming in at number 10, you know what? I'm actually gonna change it up. I, I, I ranked this movie higher before, but after some thought, I gotta rank it a little bit lower. Number 10 is gonna be Halloween 3. And listen, um, there's, a, there's a reason even though there was no Michael Myers nor Laurie in this one, the movie and, and, and knowing the behind the scenes backstory and the fact that John Carpenter, who's the one that directed the first one, created the whole first thing, decided he wanted uh, Michael Myers dead in, in two. That's, uh, that, that's, that's, his, that's him. He's the one that created the, the whole franchise. So if he decides to go a different route, he doesn't need to bring him in if he doesn't, if he doesn't want to get that but still calling it halloween and kind of promoting it like we're all expecting to see a michael myers return and laurie schrode and that that in the third and we don't get that i the 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 core basis of halloween to me is wrapped around the two of the we're wrapped around michael myers and him not being there regardless of how of how good the movie was which i think was a very good standalone horror movie if it was called uh, All Hallows Eve or Trick or Treat or something else other than Halloween, I don't think anybody would care or or bat an eye um, that it's to, to, to or hesitate to, to rank it pretty high in any kind of horror movie ranking because it is a good movie. But that's my number 10 for that reason. Coming in at number 9, I'm going to go with Halloween, uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween. Rob Zombie's Halloween, I enjoyed the part parts of the kids' The, the the kid Michael Myers and I'm not gonna say anything that I haven't already said with this one before. Once he grew up, it felt very much like it, it felt like a like a retread of the original Halloween, but it still felt close to who Michael Myers was. It wasn't until H two that they went off some kind of tangent off off the rails there. But for this one, it was serviceable. It wasn't that bad, and I and I've grown to enjoy it more as time goes on but the movies after this are just obviously just just better to me coming at number eight i'm gonna go with halloween five uh i've t i've said it time and time again the way that halloween four ended halloween five should have come that much stronger i'll tell you like perfect example halloween resurrection although it was a stretch had a great explanation for the end of H2O. Halloween 5 had a horrible beginning explanation or, or, or continuation of what happened in the end of 4. It just, it was a missed opportunity. And from that moment, it doesn't matter what happens after that because nothing stood out to the, uh, uh, nothing stood out in the movie after that. It was just a, Michael Myers showcase, Sam Loomis chasing him, same thing we've got movies prior, but it could have added a, such a great new wrinkle into the franchise had they picked it up, um, had they pick, picked it up or carried it along a little bit differently than they did. So that's my number eight. Coming in at number seven, I'm going to go with Halloween Kills. Um, I liked Halloween Kills, 
from the Michael Myers standpoint. Wasn't a big fan of the dialogue and some of the stuff with the townspeople, but that's kind of in the grand scheme of things, especially after we watch Halloween Ends, that's a little bit of a nitpick by comparison of some of the movies I have mentioned previous that were lower on my list. Um, Halloween Kills was good for a Michael Myers showcase. So that's my number seven. Coming in at number six, I'm going to go with Halloween, uh, Halloween six, Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers. Before we saw Kills and a couple other movies, Halloween six was the most brutal version of, um, of Michael Myers. He was stockier, he was more imposing. It seemed to be more uh, vicious in his killing like overpowering in his killing then more so than kind of subtle how he had been subtle up before that point so that was good i'm not a big fan of the of the thorn the thorn curse but i like the fact that it showed at the end you can't control michael myers and you can might you might think you can but you can't so it ended up redeeming itself at the end as far as the michael myers standpoint goes so that's my number six now this is when it gets tough the top five are are they're all really good movies so it's kind of hard to to pinpoint what's what so i'll do my best here coming in at number five i'm going to go with halloween four halloween four is a good halloween movie um there was a great way a great way to bring him back on the heels of Halloween 2. Um, and I liked some, I liked some unique, there were some unique kills in this one too. And I liked this one used the, the, um, the crowd uh, in, in insanity much better than Halloween Kills did with that, that, um, that mob chasing him down and trying to kill him. It just made more sense. Halloween 4 is a, a good horror movie. So that's my number five. Coming in at number four, I'm gonna go with Halloween 2. Halloween 2 is gonna be my number four. Picks up right from the original Halloween. Um, it, it it brings in the, the sister brother dynamic with Michael Myers and Lori. That was that was a good it was and it was a good movie. I I actually saw two before I saw one when I was a kid. And I, obviously I went back and saw one, but I saw clips of two and parts of two, which made me even want to get into this series in the first place. And then when I saw one, I was like, oh, oh, wow. So um, that's going to be my number four. Now, the top three. Oh, okay. Number three. I'm going to go with Halloween 2018. Okay. Halloween 2018 was a great way to bring Michael back and a great way to come back to the roots of the franchise. I wouldn't have done anything differently in that movie. Um, the more I watch it, especially after seeing kills and ends, I appreciate it so much more. And it just keeps on getting better and better in my view. That was the, the perfect version of Laurie Strode, of Michael Myers and the writing behind the movie was perfect and of course John Carpenter with the score it was a great great horror movie that's my number three number two Halloween H2O because of what happened in ends I appreciate H2O that much better now the ending of Michael Myers the ending of Michael Myers in H2O was per <clears throat> perfectly done he did not get overpowered he did not look weak he, the way he was beaten what made complete sense to what happened and it was a it, it was it was very close to the roots and the feel and the tone although it was a different area it wasn't Haddonfield it made sense to the story as why it took place where it did and I thought it was very very well done that's my number two for sure number one there is no surprise I don't know anybody Maybe there's a few people, but majority of people that I've talked to have the original as our number one, and that's my number one. When it comes to horror, this is a as close to perfect as you're gonna get. Um, you can nitpick, but all you can do is nitpick. There's nothing glaringly wrong with Halloween 1978. It is one of not just it's not just the best Halloween movie of all time. It is one of the best horror movies of all time. 
I need to do a ranking on my actual t list of horror movies, but off the top of my head, it's probably in my top 10, maybe my top five. It's definitely up there for sure. Uh, there's not much more I can say about it that I haven't already said. So at this point, I'm gonna open it up to you all. What does your list look like? Was I way off here? Where do you rank Halloween ends? Because I've heard some people that absolutely love it. I've seen some lists that have it number two or number three. That's, that's, I mean, hey, to, to each their own, but that's, that's crazy to me. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, leave a, if you, if you're new here, like the video, share the video, subscribe to this channel. I do all things horror. If you're returning, thanks again for checking out and thanks again for hanging out with me this, for this long. I want to know down in the comments what you think about everything, what you think about Halloween in general, what you think of what, what your ranking is. And I'll see you guys next time.